हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू हिस्ट्री एंड सिविक्स क्लास दिस इज योर बुक ऑफ हिस्ट्री सिविक्स क्लास सेवन टेक आउट पेज नंबर फिफ्टी एट लेसन नंबर सिक्स द डेली सल्तन थ्री इन दिस वी विल कवर दीज पॉइंट्स इंट्रोडक्शन एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव सिस्टम ऑफ डेली सल्तन आर्ट एंड आर्किटेक्चर इन द सल्तन पीरियड important building cities and forts socio cultural development language literature educational centers music religion the bhakti movement the sufi movement and the reasons for the decline of delhi sultanate students today is day 1 in this we will cover page number 58 59 in this video the topic i am going to cover in this video are introduction administrative system of delhi sultanate sultan and his ministers the provincial administration okay student the objective of today's topic are to understand you about the indo-islamic architecture to make you understand about administrative system of delhi sultanate to make you understand about the provincial system of administration let's come to the chapter the delhi sultanate 3 students in lesson 4 and 5 delhi sultanate 1 and 2 you have already learned about studied about these five dynasties slave dynasty khalji dynasty tughlaq dynasty sayyid dynasty lodi dynasty right now in this chapter you are going to learn about the administrative system the art and architecture the socio cultural development and the reason of the decline of the delhi sultanate and life under the sultanate period the rule of delhi sultanate for a period of over 300 years directly influenced the culture and the religious life of india indian culture and heritage that was already rich came into contact with the turkish people of turkey afghan cultures afghan means people of afghanistan and both fused fused with me together to generate a new indo-islamic culture during the 13th century ad there was a period of turmoil here the meaning turmoil go to page number 63 in the new terms you will get the meaning a state of great disturbance what do you mean by the word turmoil state of great disturbance right in this paragraph students turkish means the people of turkey and afghan means the people of afghanistan basically they came from central asia you will see this part central asia they came from turkey then iraq iran afghanistan we can say they came from central asia they came with their culture and tradition at that time india was already rich in culture and heritage when they came with their culture their culture intermingled with the indian culture formed a new culture this blend of culture was known as indo islamic architecture right there was a significant development in the field of religion and philosophy the hindus and the muslims remain hostile hostile means enemy means the hindus and muslim remain enemies for long time but as the time passed they realized if they wanted to crush their enemies if they wanted to finish their enemies they had to shake their hands with each other for throwing their enemies out otherwise they could not be able to do that hostile means enemy dushman to each other for a long time 
but gradually slowly as the time passed they realized that it was almost impossible for either of them to crush its opponent again enemy against people out of existence the advent of islam in india had a great impact on architecture also the matching blend of indian and islamic features has been termed as indo islamic architecture administrative system of delhi sultanate before starting with the topic i would like to show you a flow chart let's see administrative structure of the delhi sultanate sultan and his ministers now sultan here the sultan was the original head he was a military autocrat autocrat means he had unlimited powers only the quranic law could check the sultan's authority some sultan paid tribute to the caliph also so sultan an independent sovereign free from decisions supreme military powers he had all the supreme military powers he was the head of the state he was assisted by number of ministers the wazir wazir was the prime minister he gave day to day advice to the sultan the arize mamlik arize mamlik was the defense minister diwane insha diwane insha was the home minister and he was the external affairs minister diwane risalat diwane risalat was the foreign affairs minister and diwane kaza diwane kaza was the chief justice of law let's read this topic the sultan of the delhi sultanate were military autocrat autocrat means ruler who has the unlimited powers with unlimited powers the only check on the authority was the quranic law some of the sultan paid homage homage means tribute to the caliph caliph head of the muslim however for all the practical aims they acted as a independent sovereign sovereign means decision free the turks had no law of succession here sultan was the military autocrats he had all the powers only quranic law could check the sultan's authority some sultans paid the tribute to the head of the muslims known as caliph practically sultan was free to take all the decisions here the turks the people of turkey turks had no law of successions means who would be the next king of the throne it was not confirmed so particular law of succession was not not there following was the administrative structure of the delhi sultanate the sultan the sultan was the fountain head means original source of the political authority he was the pivot of the administrative system pivot means main point now he was assisted by number of ministers sultan was assisted by the ministers namely the wazir the arize mamlik the diwane insha diwane risalat and diwane kaza the wazir wazir or the prime minister now who was wazir wazir was the prime minister stood midway he stood in the middle between the sultan and his subjects subjects means people he was an important adviser to the sultan in his day to day administration administration now this was the work of the wazir he gave day to day advice to the sultan in his daily administration arize mamlik now who was arize mamlik he was the commander in chief he was controller of whole military establishment of the sultanate right so who was arize mamlik arize mamlik was the commander in chief now diwane insha diwane insha he dealt with all type of royal correspondence he was always always a faithful person of the sultan and he was considered as the home minister 
दीवाने रसालत ही डील्ट विथ रिलीजियस मैटर्स ऑफ दी सल्तनत हाउ एवर सम स्कॉलर्स मेनटेन दैट ही वॉज अ मिनिस्टर फॉर द फॉरन अफेयर्स सो दीवान रसालत वॉज कंसिडर एज द मिनिस्टर ऑफ फॉरन अफेयर्स दीवान काजा दीवान काजा वॉज द चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ लॉ ही वॉज द चीफ काजी ऑफ द सल्तनत कम टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक द प्रोविंशियल एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन स्टूडेंट्स द होल सल्तनत दैट टाइम वॉज डिवाइडेड इन टू प्रोविंस मीन स्टेट्स द स्टेट्स व फर्दर डिवाइडेड इन टू विलेजेस नाउ दे वर हेडेड बाय फ्यू मिनिस्टर्स लाइक मुक्तिस इकतादार्स मुकादम्स खुद्स चौधरीस द मार्केट वॉज कंट्रोल्ड बाय शहान मंडी हु वॉज द सुप्रिटेंटेड ऑफ द मार्केट ही हैड अ क्लोज लुक ऑन द बिजनेस मैन एंड द शॉपकीपर्स एंड देयर ट्रांजेक्शन्स द हिंदूज वर रिक्वायर्ड टू पे नदर टैक्स विच वॉज कॉल्ड जीजिया जीजिया मीन्स अ टैक्स पेड बाय द नॉन मुस्लिम्स लेट एस रीड दिस टॉपिक नाउ द होल सल्तनत मीन एम्पायर वॉज डिवाइडेड इन टू प्रोविंसेस द प्रोविंशियल एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन वॉज रन बाय मुक्तिस इकतादार्स एंड अदर ऑफिशियल्स दीज वर द नेम ऑफ द मिनिस्टर्स द प्रोविंसेस वर डिवाइडेड इन टू परगनास डिस्ट्रिक्स द परगनास वर डिवाइडेड इन टू विलेजेस द कलेक्शन ऑफ द लैंड रेवेन्यू वॉज डन बाय मुकादम्स द हेड ऑफ द विलेज खुद्स एंड चौधरीज द शहान मंडी वॉज द सुप्रिटेंटेड मीन्स कंट्रोलर ऑफ द मार्केट he had a close watch on the transaction of the merchant means businessman and the shopkeepers the hindus were required to pay an additional tax which was called jizya jizya means the tax paid by the non muslims this is the end of this topic let's recall some new terms come to page number 63 students turmoil a state of great disturbance fountain head and original source pivots the central point you have to learn these terms let us recall some cross questions what name was given to the blend of indian and islamic architectural features name the fountain head of administrative system of delhi sultanate name the department headed by the following ministers the wazir arize mamlik diwan e insha diwan e rasalat diwan e kaza name the minister who collected the land revenue who was a superintendent of the market define jizya okay student today we end up with the today's topic i hope you understood all the topics and you are able to do some exercises and cross questions by yourself don't forget to learn the new terms i will come with the next topic on the next day thank you